Buenas noches. Buenas noches. Buenas noches. Buenas noches, Tichu. Buenas noches. Buenas noches, teacher. ¿Cómo están? ¿Todo bien? bien? Acá con lluvia. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Vale, recuerden que hay que encender las cámaras. Si están teniendo algún inconveniente, háganmelo saber, por favor. Si eh, está lloviendo y por A o B razón se, se va la luz, pues se vuelven a reconectar en cuanto ustedes puedan eh, lograr entrar. Creo que porque está empezando, no se ve muy bien la parte de fondo de, de, de la pantalla, pero en el camino o eh, durante la clase se va a poder mejorar. Vaya. ¿Se recuerdan que estuvimos viendo el día de ayer? ¿Cuál fue el tema del día de ayer? Hola. El, la, terminamos con las dos formas como describir de eh, las tipo de trabajo y las ¿qué? se me escapa la palabra ok we were using the adjective como un job en occupation occupation thank okay. you ok thank you so much and let me go ahead and uh, share the computer screen just give me some seconds Okay, in the meantime, guys, I would like you to give me some, some ideas using the jobs and occupations. So, for example, you can say a, a teacher has, a, an, I mean, the teacher's job is amazing or a teacher has an amazing job, okay? Those are the two options that we have in English. And now uh, I want to listen to some examples. If you want to participate, just raise your hand and then give me the best option. Uh-huh. Any volunteer? Lizeth Alvarado, do you have any, any idea? Lizeth Alvarado? Dígame. Do you have any idea? Okay, any other volunteer, please? Entendí que hiciéramos otra vez un ejercicio de las dos formas de, de describir. Correct. That's what I want you to do. So the first option, a teacher's job is great. Or you can also say a teacher has a great job. A great job. Those are the two options that we were practicing yesterday, but I want you to give me your ideas. Uh, Nidia, go ahead, please. Ah, ya se compuso la, la cámara. Yay, that's great. Uh -huh. Okay, Nidia, what are your examples? Um... Uh, 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 nurse. Uh -huh. 
a nurse job is uh -huh. funny. Okay. A, a, nurse, has... a nurse's job is funny and a nurse has a funny job. A nurse, a nurse's job is funny and a nurse has a funny job. Okay, great. Any other volunteer, please? Uh, a cla a clown yo a clown's yo is funny clown clown okay a clown's okay. job is funny uh huh and the second option uh, 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 a clown have has has funny yo okay a clown's job is funny. A clown has a funny job. Thank you. Uh, Lizeth okay. Alvarado. A, a doctor has a funny. What? A doctor has a funny. A doctor's job is funny. Are you sure? Okay. Yes. So you can say a doctor's job is exciting. Remember that you can use different adjectives, not just funny. A, a, um, is a difficult. A doctor's a doctor's job is dangerous, or you can say exciting, or you can also say a doctor has an exciting job. Okay. Another okay. one. Erika Joanna, would you like to practice? Jenny Yasmin, go ahead. Jenny Yasmin. Ajá, uh -huh, Jenny. Ok, chicos, escuchan. Sorry, teacher, me está cayendo sí. el inter, pero ahorita me volví a conectar. Ok. Um, Thank you. Ok. Uh, dice... Um, uh, Casher, home, is easy. Uh, One more time. A cashier's job is what? Easy job. Okay. A cashier has. Easy. Easy. Okay, you can say a cashier's job is easy or a cashier has an easy job. Okay, next, another volunteer. Uh -huh. eh, Gabriela, go ahead, thank you. Ahorita. Uh -huh. A plumber has boring jobs. A, A plumber. plumber jobs is boring. Okay. Thank you. A plumber's job is boring. A plumber has a boring job. Okay. Thank you. Ana Campos, would you like to participate? Mm, okay. And then Wilbur. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, a lawyer study. Studies. Is, studies. Is mm -hmm. every day a lawyer has uh study every day one more time um, uh, uh engineers is job job is stressful stressful okay a an engineer's job is stressful uh-huh 
A engineer has a stressful job. Has a stressful job. Thank you. Wilbur. Um, ¿Cómo se dice arquitecto o teacher? Architect. Architect. Um, an, an architect job, job is exciting. Mm -hmm. uh, ¿Lo dije bien? An, an archi architect, architect's job is exciting, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, an architect has some exciting job. An architect has an exciting job. Okay. Thank you, Wilbur. All right. Let me go ahead and share my computer screen. Once you can see it, just let me know, please. I think it's loading. In some seconds, it's going to be ready. Can you see it now or not yet? Yes, we can see it. You can see. Okay, thank you. And uh, Wilbur, can you please read the lesson objective? Okay, by, by the end of this class, you will the the log uh, develop prediction, develop prediction and inf inferencing inferencing skills skills after reading reading and discussing um, article and job profiting and the quest of pronunciation teacher. Okay, after reading discussing Narika job profiles. Now, uh, let's go ahead and listen and read the video. I mean, we are going to listen and watch to the video also reading because on the right side you have the translation. Once you can listen and reading, just uh, let me know, please. Hi everyone, in this class you'll develop prediction. Can you listen to? Or is it still loading? Is yes, it still I loading? Didn't. Okay, go ahead. Yes, and inferencing skills after reading and discussing an article on job profiles. Reading job profiles. Lisa Parker has two jobs. She works as a waitress at night, but she's really an actress. During the day, she auditions for plays and television shows. Her schedule is difficult, and she's tired a lot. But she's following her dream. Lots of teenagers want John Blue's job. He plays video games for eight hours a day, and he gets paid for it. John is a video game tester for a big video game company. Is it ever boring? Never. John almost always wins. Becky Peck walks in the park every day for many hours, rain or shine. Becky is a professional dog walker. She walks dogs for other people. Sometimes she takes 20 dogs to the park at one time. Carlos Ruiz is a busy man. He plans lessons, grades homework, helps with after-school activities, and, of course, he teaches. His salary isn't great, but that's okay. His students like his class, so he's happy. Okay, guys. Now, uh, let's go ahead and check uh, the knowledge check. And I'm going to read the instructions. It says, read the article. Who do you think might say the th things? Select a name. Okay. And according to the reading, number one, after a win, I take a break. Uh-huh. 
It says, you may say these things. I mean, who do you think might say these things? Select the name. John Blue. Okay. All right, the next one. It says, I don't usually work in the summer. Who do you think might say these things? Carlos Ruiz. Okay, the number three. The restaurant closed late around 2 a.m. Lisa Parker. Okay. Lisa Parker. Thank you. And number four. After work, my feet, my feet and my arms are tired. Okay, let's go ahead and double check. The answers are awesome. Great, you have 25 out of 25. Now, uh, this was the knowledge check and let's move forward. Remember that uh, by Friday, you might, I mean, you should finish the unit three and also the mid term, okay? And let's go ahead and continue. We're going to have to matter to complete uh, this midterm part. So, but let's take advantage of the time. It says, instructions, listen to the conversation and select the correct answer to complete each sentence. So let me go ahead and play it and take notes, please. I think it's loading. Okay. Alguien está teniendo inconvenientes para poder escuchar el audio. Entonces tienen que irse a esta parte. ¿ve? Y les va a abrir una pestaña nueva. Entonces, si usted da clic acá. El sistema lo va a dirigir a una pantalla nueva. Entonces, va a poder eh, escuchar el audio. Y le, luego le da play en el botoncito. Cuando ya haya abierto en una pantalla nueva, da play acá. ¿Es clear? Sí. Yes. Yes. Ok. Yes. One. I really love our new house, Dan. What's your new house like, Julia? It's my dream house. It has three bedrooms and two bathrooms. The bedrooms have big closets. Wow, three bedrooms. That sounds nice. Two. Yeah, I really love the house. But I need some furniture. What do you need? I need some things for the kitchen and the living room. What's in your living room now? Well, there are some chairs, but there isn't a sofa. Three. What do you need for the kitchen? Well, there's a refrigerator and a stove, but there's no microwave oven. Hmm. You know, I have a microwave oven, but I don't really use it. Do you want it? Yes, thanks. Okay, so the number one, who's ready for the number one? Who has that answer? Yarixa, thank you. Yes, the answer will be three. But there I want you to complete, bedrooms. okay, complete sentences. Okay, there, there are three bedrooms. Three mm -hmm. bedrooms. Okay, number two, Flor de Maria. In the living room. Complete the sentences. Yes, they are sunshine in the living room. In the living room. Thank you. 
Next. Leave and Fonsi. Who's ready for the next one? Jenny Yasmin. Julia needs a uh, microwave oven for the kitchen. A microwave oven for the kitchen. Okay. Let's double check the answers. Great. Good job. Good job. Now let's move to the second part. It says complete the conversation. So we're going to take advantage of the time. We're going to complete three. And tomorrow we're going to complete the other ones. The letter B says complete the conversation. Instructions. Complete the conversations. Use the simple pressing of the verbs. Select the option that contains the words to complete the question and answer. Okay. Uh, I need some volunteers. Me. Uh, okay. Consuelo, complete the first one. Thank you. And does your apartment building have an elevator? Does your apartment building have an elevator? Okay. Nidia, number two. Uh, next sentence, please. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Okay, next. The number two. Another volunteer, please. Me. Uh huh. Do the bedroom have closet? Do the bathroom have closet? Thank you. Next. No, they, no, they don't. don't. No, they not. don't. No, they don't. Uh, uh, no, they don't, don't. Okay. Thank you. All right. Let's move to the next one. And this is going to be the last one because we're going to complete the other ones the next, I mean, the next class, which is tomorrow. And uh, Jenny, read instructions, please. Uh-huh. There is, there is, there no, is I want you to read the instructions. Unscramble the sentences. Unscramble the sentences, write each sentence in the correct order. Unscramble the sentences, write each sentences in the correct uh, order. Okay, I need a volunteer to complete the first one. Nidia. There is not a mirror in the bedroom. Okay. There isn't. Remember that you need to put in order. Tienen que ponerlas en orden. That's what it means, unscramble. There isn't a mirror in the bedroom. In the bedroom. In the bedroom. Bedroom. Thank you. Okay. Uh, number two. Who's ready for the number two? There are no pictures Uh huh. In the house. Okay. There are no no pictures in the hall. Okay. Uh, next.
there aren't mm -hmm. any different, any different pain in the in the dining room. Okay. There aren't any cartons in the in the dining room. There aren't. There aren't any cartons in the dining room. Dining room. Okay, let's check the answers. Excellent. Okay, we got it. All right, now. Uh, we're going to complete with the other part tomorrow because on Friday night you should be able to finish until the mid the midterm this part over here but we have taken advantage of the time that's great okay and since we have enough time I want you to uh, verify the uh, jobs that we have let me just double check here Okay, I want you to complete some sentences, all right, using um, the jobs that we have in English. We are going to do it in some seconds. However, before moving forward, I would like you to see, I will, I would like you to see uh, the picture I'm going to, I'm going to show you. Carla says, lo siento, tenía problemas de conexión. Okay. Okay. So I want you to see the pictures and I'm going to write, there is for singular, singular objects and there are for plural objects, okay? So by looking at the pictures, I would like you to tell me what you can see on the picture. Um, let me show you the presentation. All right, if you see, these are the parts of the house, correct? The parts of the house. Over here, here you have the parts of the house. You have the chimney, okay? You also have the roof, the bathroom, the kitchen, the garden, the att attic or attic, the bathroom, and the living room, okay? So if I ask you a question, let's see. I'm going to ask Jenny, what can you see? At, I mean, what can you see on the attic? So what you are going to do, you are going to complete some sentences and you are going to uh, say questions like, there is, okay, uh, let me select another one. I'm going to erase this one. I need a different pencil. Oh, there you go. I think this one is going to work better. Okay. Your answer will be there, there is, if it is singular, correct? There is, okay? There is, and if it is plural, 
you are going to say there are. Is it clear? There are. Yes, it, it is clear. Okay. There are, if it is a plural. Okay, and the question I'm going to ask you, what can you see or what is there? What is there in the living room? What is there in the bathroom? But I'm going to ask you a direct question. What can you see? What can you see? And then I'm going to say the room. What can you see? Okay, uh, Jenny, Jasmine, what can you see in the kitchen? ¿Qué me está preguntando? ¿Qué es lo que ves en la cocina? Um, there is... Uh -huh. Jenny. There is a um, table. Uh huh. Okay. Are you sure? I can see a refrigerator. How do you call this one? How do you call that object in English? Uh-huh. Jenny. Okay, let's listen to Julio. What can you see in the kitchen, Julio? Uh, there, I see there are a refrigeration. I, I, there are a watch. There are there a are refrigeration. Are you sure? Uh, so, when it is singular. Or, or, or is fridge. Fridge or refrigerator. Okay. For uh, singular, I... you are going to use there is. For there plural, is. you're going to use there are. Exacto. Okay. I see there is a watch. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, there is a flower. There is a flower. Mm -hmm. There is a chair. There is a chair. Okay. Um, is the a other one? Ball? Uh, I don't know. A ball? How say the ball? A ball. It's ball. Mm -hmm. Um uh, there is a big table. Okay. Big table um, and a pan. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. I don't know how, pan. How say uh, I, I, I I see I see there are Two bot, two bot, salt, salt. Two salt bottles. Bottle, do Two salt bottle. Thank um, you. Okay. Okay, next, Carla Susana, are you ready? Yeah. Okay, Carla, what can you see in the bathroom? Bathroom. Mm -hmm. There is mm, 
du ducha. No sé si se dice así. Shower. Shower. Mm. They are. There is a shower. Uh -huh. There is a towel. Mm -hmm. There is a. Eh... Ay, se me fue lo del espejo. <laughs> Mirror. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How do you call this one? Um. Uh -huh. How do you call this one? No, teacher, lo siento, se me fue. Toilet. Toilet. Mm -hmm. Toilet. And this is the sink. And this is a shelter. I would say that. I would say that. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Now, uh, Wilbur, what can you, what can you see in the bathroom? I can see um, television. Mm -hmm. um, there is book. Okay. There is there is a television. Uh -huh. There is there is there is books or there, there are books. Um, there are books. Thank you. Uh, there is uh, a chair. A chair. A chair. Mm -hmm. uh, how do you say uh, armario or, or closet? Uh, bathroom, this is a closet, I would say that. Closet. Um, there is a closet. Mm -hmm. and how do you In... call this one? There is, uh, eso, lo último, que subrayó, ¿cómo se llama? ¿Cómo se dice? Sofa. sofa. You can say sofa, it looks like a bench. Okay, como un banco grande o un sofá. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. And the uh, next one is going to be Valeria. What is there in the living room? What can you see? Uh huh. Valeria? Yarexa? Yes? What is there in the living room? Uh, there is a sofa. There is a chair. There is a lamp. Mm -hmm. A table. I don't know if it's books or books. There is a lamp, are you sure? Yes. How many can you see there? Oh, will be there are a lamps. Thank you. There are lamps. Okay. And there are books. Uh-huh. There is a cactus. Yes. Are there pictures? Yes, there are there are pictures. How many? Three. Three pictures, correct. What else? And there is a table. With what can you see on the table? Mm, there are two cups. Cups. Two cups. Uh huh. Glass cups. And how do you call I, this one? I don't know. A bottle. A bottle, okay. 
Okay. Hasta lo cute. Mm -hmm. Or it can be wine, I think. Yeah, for the color. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Do you like it? Yes. All right. Now, let's continue with the other part. Just give me some seconds. Okay. Let's move to the other uh, page. We were uh, using um, some expressions to talk about professions, correct? Now, uh, since we have been practicing the use of professions, there you have some occupations and, okay, you also have, so these are occupations over here. You have occupations, okay? And over here, you have jobs. Okay, occupations and jobs. Now, what you are going to do is to complete two examples. So a waiter's job, is awesome. A waiter has an awesome job. Is it clear? It's clear. Okay, thank you. Who no wants mucho, to be the first one? No entendí mucho, teacher. It's the same that we have been completing at the beginning. Like, for example, you can say an electrician has a, has a dangerous job or uh an electrician's job is dangerous or an electrician job is dangerous or an electrician has a dangerous job it's the same okay okay who's next uh-huh And um, waiter is just funny. No, 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 no. And waiter is funny job. A a waiter's job is funny. Mm hmm Second option. Uh, a waiter is, is no. It waiter has funny job. A funny job, thank you. Paramedic, Wilbur. Uh, a paramedic job is exciting. Mm -hmm. A paramedic, um, a paramedic has has an exciting, exciting job. Thank you. Valeria, continue. The next one, dentist. No lo escuché, teacher. Continue with the next one. Uh, una occupation or how? This one. ¿Cuál es mi favorita house occupation? No. What we have been completing. A waiter has an exciting job or a waiter's job is an it's exciting. That's what you need to say. Uh huh. Okay. Let's continue. 
Consuelo, go ahead, please. Okay, Yarixa, continue okay. with the dentist. Okay, the dentist has a difficult job. Mm -hmm. um, the first option uh, is... Uh-huh, go ahead. The first option is... If the nurse, sorry, the dentist has a difficult job. No, the dentist job is difficult. The dentist job is difficult. Mm -hmm. mm. The, the mm -hmm. second one will be like I told you that the 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 dentist has a difficult job Thank or you. an a difficult job. A difficult job. Okay, Irene Berenice, next. The train conductor. Uh huh. Irene. Continue. Uh, Just give me a moment. Julio, continue, please. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, try conductor job is difficult. A, a, train, a conductor, train conductor's job is difficult. Uh huh. A train conductor has a difficult job. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Next, Jenny Yasmin. Okay. Uh, Nur's job is stressful. Mm -hmm. um, uh, Nur's has a stressful job. Okay. Lizeth Avalos. I study students. An electrician. An electrician's job. I'm an electrician yes, is a difficult. An electrician's job <laughs> is difficult. And then an electrician has um, a difficult job. An electrician difficult difficult job. Nidia, continue. A doctor job is extra full. Mm -hmm. A doctor is extra full job. A doctor's job is stressful. A doctor has a, a stressful job. Ana Campos. Okay. A uh, bus, a man. Uh -huh. A businessman. A businessman. A businessman. Job is uh, dangerous. Uh huh. A uh, bus is. ¿Cómo fue que me dijo? Uh, bus, Business. Businessman has a dan uh -huh. dan job. Dangerous job. Okay. Ana Campos, continue. Uh, um, 
American football player uh -huh. eh, is ya um, eh, funny. Um, the Americans yeah. football player, Americans football player's job is funny. Is job funny? Uh, America, a uh, American football player has a funny job. Thank you. Next, Azucena. Hola. Por dónde van, disculpen. Ajá. Ah, tú den. Ajá. A student's occupation is busy. A student's occupation is busy. Job. Mm -hmm. A student's occupation. The student's occupations is busy. The student has a busy occupation or busy job. Continue, Wilbur. Um, um so and so short surgeon how do you say a surgeon's job and 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 so surgeon job is is equal mm -hmm. and surgeon has some difficult difficult job okay thank you Azucena Durman Uh, a doorman. Mm -hmm. Como la foto. Ajá. Okay, Jamie Navidad, continue. Jamie? Okay, guys, uh, let's work on the on the shot. I want you to try ideas, please. Select one job or occupation and write it down on the a shot. On the Zoom shot. Uh huh. I want you to write it down on the Zoom chat. Uh -huh. Just one, right? As many as you can. Okay. No, pero no quiero que pongan solo, el, solo la profesión. Escriban como han venido hablando. Ok. Ok. 
Okay, we have five minutes to practice. I'm going to write down some of them. I'm going to write down a model's job is a luxury. Okay. Or a model has a luxury luxury job. A lawyer's job. Mm, Ana, eso no tiene sentido. A lawyer job as a study very hard. No. A nurse has a funny job. Okay, but I want you to come. I want you to write them down all together. Escriban las juntas, las dos. Le voy a dar un ejemplo. A model's job is luxury. Or a model has a luxury, luxury job. Like this, como ese ejemplo. A mechanic, a, uh, the mechanic's job is difficult, or a mechanic's job is difficult, a mechanic has a difficult job. Okay, Jenny, a, pel, a police officer is a job. Eso no tiene sentido. A business job is important. Okay. A business job is important. Pero tiene que escribirlo de un solo. Las ambas, ambas, eh, ambos ejemplos. A babysitter's job, a babysitting job is funny. A babysitting has a funny job. A, a study's job is funny or a study has a funny job. Eso no tiene sentido. Dice, un estudio trabajo tiene un trabajo gracioso. Eso no tiene sentido si lo tra traducen. Traten de traducir eh, lo que van a decir y pregúntense ustedes mismos si lo que están escribiendo tiene sentido. A employee's job is interesting. A employee has an interesting job. By eso sí tiene sentido. A nurse's job is difficult. A nurse has a difficult job. Más o menos, Lisette. Okay. Continue. Give me more examples. Julio y sus, y sus ejemplos. Okay, a police officer. Ya lo, lo mandó. Okay. Jenny dice, a police officer is job stressful. Eso no tiene sentido. A police job is stressful. A police has a stressful job. Teacher, ya se lo envié. No lo vi. Está creo, está creo al principio. Okay, let me double check. A doorman's job. A polite, a doorman has a polite job. Okay, a doorman's job is polite. A doorman sí. has a polite job. Sí, después les mandé la aclaración porque me comí el is. Mm -hmm. 
Vayamos ahí. Sí, sí. Ok. Eh, Le puedo dar un minuto. ¿Tienen preguntas, dudas? Yo tengo una pregunta. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo superar o cómo practicar o cómo, no sé? Eh, eh, en algunas ocasiones, no sé cómo decirlo, pero en, en algo otra sí. ¿Cómo puedo que mi cerebro con mi boca pueda uh -huh. eh, soltarme, pues, y... y... Wilbert. Algo que me. Uh -huh. Algo que le iba a mejorar. Me... Sí. Wilbert dice: A singer occupation is funny, or a singer has a funny occupation. You can say: A singer's job is funny, or a singer has a funny job. Oh, but it makes sense. A singer's occupation is funny, or a singer has a funny occupation. Okay, good. Vaya, uno de los mejores, de las mejores recomendaciones que les puedo dar y lo que a mí me ayudó, o mejor dicho, dos de las mejores recomendaciones. Uno, búsquense un, eh, una serie que a ustedes les guste, pero en español. No vean a la, a la Betty la Fea, porque eso no les va a ayudar. Tampoco se pongan a ver la usurpadora, porque eso tampoco les va a ayudar. ¿Verdad? Ni vean la serie del capo, ni la de... ¿Cómo es que se llamaba la otra? El, el sapo, no sé qué. El cartel de los sapos. Eso no les va a ayudar. Vean un, una serie, una serie en inglés sin subtítulo. Eso es lo primero. Lo segundo, busquen lecturas que puedan escuchar y leer en línea. Ok, los dejo acá porque okay. ya me está sonando que me toca la otra clase. Si no han comido Thank buen you. provecho, en see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Good night. Good night.